Hi guys, so Boris Johnson's former chief advisor, Dominic Cummins, has been accused of leaking this exchange between James Dyson and Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Last, What happened last year was, of course, that there was this uh, requirement for ventilators. James Dyson responded to the request by asking Prime Minister Boris Johnson to fix a tax issue. Boris Johnson allegedly put pressure on Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor, and promised that it would be sorted out. Now, this exchange has been embarrassing for Prime Minister Boris Johnson. It's been brought up in the House of Commons, and some are accusing the former Chief Advisor Dominic Cummins of having an axe to grind to get back at Boris Johnson and his fiancée, Carrie, who it seems had a disagreement with him and forced him out of number 10. Now, Dominic Cummins has responded on his blog. This was posted on Friday evening. I'm not going to read the entire blog post. I'll leave a link in the description so you can read it all. But in regards to Dyson, he says, I do have some WhatsApp messages between the Prime Minister and Dyson forwarded to me by the Prime Minister. I have not found the ones that were leaked to Laura Klinsberg on my phone, nor am I aware of being sent them last year. I was not directly or indirectly a or the source of the BBC Klinsberg story on the Prime Minister Dyson text. Yesterday, some number 10 officials told me that number 10 would make this accusation and told me what they believe actually happened. What's interesting here is that Dominic Cummins still has contact with officials in number 10. That, Dyson, that Dyson's office emailed a number of officials, including Her Majesty's Treasury officials, and included screenshots of the PM Dyson texts. And that this correspondence from roughly a year ago was passed on to the BBC. I do not know if this is correct. Officials told me yesterday that I was not copied uh, in on it, uh, sorry, in on this correspondence and do not remember it. I have no longer, I know, sorry, I no longer have access to my official email, so cannot check this. Now, do we believe Dominic Cummins here? I find it strange that he would, uh, that not so much that he would leak it, but that Dyson would leak it. Dyson's team would leak it. Why would Dyson's team pass this information on to the BBC? Unless I'm missing something here. Uh, he goes on to say that he's happy to meet with uh, cabinet ministers and the cabinet office and explain, uh, you know, show them his phone if they want to check. Once again, why does Dominic Cummins still have contact with number 10? Anyway, he goes on to say towards the end, which is interesting as well, the proper way for such issues to be handled is via an urgent par parliamentary inquiry into the government's conduct over the coronavirus, which ought to, uh, to take evidence from all key players under oath and have access to documents. This is something that Boris Johnson would like to avoid, which reinforces the idea that Dominic Cummins is not happy with the current situation, with him out of uh, his position. And perhaps he did actually release this information to the public, to the media, in order to get back at the Prime Minister. Issues concerning COVID and or the Prime Minister's conduct should not be handled as Number 10 has handled them over the past 24 hours. I will cooperate fully with any such inquiry and I'm happy to give evidence under oath which means very little to Dominic Cummins. I'm happy for number 10 to publish my, uh, every email I received uh, and sent July 2019 to November 2020, with no exceptions other than previous, uh, obviously, national security or intelligence issues. I think, once again, Dominic Cummins wants to feel important here. And then finally, he closes with probably a bit of a knife in Boris Johnson's back. It says here, it is sad to see the Prime Minister and his office fall so far below the standard of competence and integrity the country deserves. <laughs> the irony here of Dominic Cummins, somebody who ran a campaign to convince people, in regard to Brexit of course, to convince people to vote against their own interests. Um, and he's complaining about the integrity and the standards and how they have fallen. Of course, this, I think, is an attempt to get back at Boris Johnson, at his fiance. Look, when I left, everything went to crap. You need me back. You want me back. I'm ready to return, but there'll need to be some changes. 
Now, whether this would work or not, I don't know. Uh, unfortunately, I think Boris Johnson is made of Teflon and many of these accusations will not really stick. He's going to weather it and he's going to move on. This is a story that will be forgotten within a week, I'm afraid. Let me know in the comments section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee, so why not check it out?